Hello friends of the internet. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Matt and I just want to say what a year man. Holy crap 2021 has been insane. First off, we'll just start with the elephant in the room. The price of petrol man. Holy, 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 holy hell. What has gone on with the price of petrol? It's insane. I think we've gone from sub 15 rand, 19 rand 63 per liter here in the Western Cape in the coast, man. That is an insane amount for fuel. In fact, the guys in Joburg, back in the high falls, are paying more than 20 rand per liter of fuel. It is absolutely ridiculous. Personally, where I've come through this journey of 2021, I've started the year without an editing PC. I was like, yeah, 2021, that's gonna be my year. I came in here without a PC to make any content on. For six weeks of the year, at the start of the year, there was nothing. It was just, just gone. No content coming from me because I was unable to edit. But I came back in February. Six weeks later, disaster struck again, man. The fork slider shaft inside of my transmission got sheared somehow by hitting fault neutral or aggressively downshifting or age old wear on the motorcycle. This damn thing snapped off and I was without my bike for six weeks. Then once I finally got my motorcycle put back together, you know, I had taken the engine apart myself and I had to wait a couple of weeks for parts to arrive and then I was struggling to put it back together and I had to get outside help and all these wonderful things. Six weeks later in May, the week I got my motorcycle back on the road, it caught fire. Here I was, starting my motorcycle and the only thought that went through my mind was after all I've been through, I can't lose my motorcycle to fire. I had the Rona in June, yes, that's right. I tested positive for COVID-19 and it left me off the motorcycle for two weeks. Of course, we had the riots here in South Africa shortly after that, which was an absolute pain. Shortly after that, I had the low speed high side out in August, which cracked the footrest mount on my right hand side and I was unable to like use rear brakes at all. So I was off the motorcycle again for six weeks. But that was pretty much the last of my tragic bad luck on the motorcycle other than the drop I had two weeks ago, which broke my brake lever, but luckily I can still apply foot brakes, so I'm riding with it as is until my parts arrive from Japan. Yeah. Once again, waiting for parts from Japan. In 2021, I uploaded 37 videos to the platform. Those 37 videos got me 3,900-ish views. Those 3.9 thousand views got me 183 and a half hours of watch time. For me, that feels like quite an accomplishment. I am quite proud of the fact that I have been able to hang out with you guys for 183 and a half hours. But above all, I think something that's really important to me is 54 people subscribed to my YouTube channel to say, hey, we want to hang out with you. We like what you're doing. We think you're badass. And to be honest, guys, I don't know why more of you aren't hitting the subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing. Now, if you're still watching this far into the video, won't you do me a favor? I would love to go into 2022 with at least 100 subscribers. If one thing that this year has taught me a lesson for, it's that you got to not look down, you got to look ahead, man. And I think 2022 is just, it's going to be exactly that. That's going to be my mantra, man. Don't look down, look ahead. Because there is so much more on the horizon than what's right in front of you. You've got to just keep looking. And it doesn't just apply to when life gives you lemons, man. When you're on the bike, don't look down. Like, don't look at the car in front of you. Look ahead, look far ahead. See everything that's coming your way because there's so much more than what's right here. Along with that, guys, I want to bring some really cool content. I want to bring some more informative content. Yes, I want to motovlog. I want to share 
by riding with you guys, but more importantly, I want it to be engaging. I want you guys to take something away from every video, every time you hang out with me. And that's going to obviously include things like reviews. I've done this review on these awesome RST TrackTech 3 Evos. There's an Amazon affiliate link in the description. But not only that, man, like, I've got the GoPro Hero Max 360 that I've been using for a decent amount of time. Almost a year, in fact. And on top of that, I just want to bring some more how-tos, man. Like, if you're a fellow Suzuki Bandit owner, then I want to bring some more content that's going to be very specific down to you. You can do all these minor services yourself. So, I think I'm going to improve my how to service a Suzuki Bandit video. But also, like, all the motor maintenance, man, that garage work is so important. I want to share it with you guys. Another thing I really want to do, guys, is... I want to share the beauty of this country with you, man. My brother-in-law was here over the festive season, popped around for a visit, and he reminded me just how fortunate I am to be in the situation where I can call a place like this my home, man. I mean, I've got twisty roads all over the place within a five minutes reach of me. For my taking, man, I just get on the bike and I ride. I want to share a lot of the beauty of this wonderful country of ours with the rest of the world. Things to do, places to see, roads to ride. And we're spoiled for choice here in the Western Cape. Like, I discovered a whole new part of motorcycling that I never knew existed once I moved down here, man. And that's something I want to I wanna get everybody involved in. I want to share those places with you. So, I've got links to both my Patreon and PayPal in the description below. So if you want to help and support this channel, man, I, I'd really appreciate it. It would go such a long way. And then the most important thing to me, man, is I really want to go and experience all these places with my fiance, Monique, man. And she is absolutely, absolutely petrified of motorcycles, man. So myself and Monique, we're going to be spending a lot more time in parking lots, doing a lot more like training stuff to try and help her get over that fear of motorcycles. And I'm seriously contemplating the possibility of buying her a motorcycle also in order to get her past the fear, give her some form of control that if I can't experience this with her as a passenger, at the very least, I can experience with her as she rides her own motorcycle.
gonna go over! You, you reckon, reckon it hit that, that thing? thing? Yeah, this stone, it hit this stone, it was this side. And then the stone goes there. So it's some way on this portion. Are, Are you, you sure, sure my guy? guy? I'm 100% sure. I was watching. How big is it? Oh, oh dude, it's like... I didn't, I didn't see it come off though, I just looked up and saw it wasn't there. That stone, it was on this side. And then if you hit the stone, the stone goes there. But then on it, somewhere here. Are you for real, my guy? I'm not sure. There. There? There. Did you see it? There. Oh, my gent. <laughs> you were amazing. That. It's oh. just there. How did the lens survive? Because it's, it's a corner. Hey? Oh, it's there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, black, yeah. Eh? yeah. But the lens survived, man. Cool. <sighs> Is that only that? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you so much, my guy. I really appreciate it, buddy. Great. Cool, man. <sighs> but it's working, eh? Wow. Well, I mean, the lens didn't get like super fucked up, so I guess I, I guess, guess it's working. Sure. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, so that happened. I guess that's how we're ending off 2021, my guys. Don't look down, look ahead, and until next time, guys, ride safe.